Anorectal abscess. Introduction. Anorectal abscess, also known as an anal rectal abscess, or perianal perirectal abscess, is an abscess adjacent to the anus. Most cases of perianal abscesses are sporadic, though there are certain situations which elevate the risk for developing the disease, such as diabetes mellitus, Crohn's disease, chronic corticosteroid treatment, and others. If an anal abscess doesn't heal, it can cause a lot of pain and may require surgery. Definition An anorectal abscess refers to a collection of pus in the anal or rectal region. They are more common in men than in women and have high rates of recurrence. An anal or rectal abscess occurs when a cavity in the anus becomes filled with pus. It causes extreme pain, fatigue, rectal discharge, and fever. In some cases, anal abscesses can result in painful anal fistulas. Classification Anorectal abscesses are classified according to their anatomic location and the following are the most common types. Perianal abscess, ischiorectal abscess, intersphincteric abscess, and supralevator abscess. Perianal abscess, which represents the most common type of anorectal abscesses accounting for about 60% of reported cases, are superficial collections of purulent material just beneath the skin of the anal canal. Ischiorectal abscess is formed when suppuration transverses the external anal sphincter into the ischiorectal space. Intersphincteric abscess results from suppuration contained between the internal and external anal sphincters. Supralevator abscess forms from cephalid extension of the intersphincteric abscess above the levator ani or from caudal extension of a suppurative abdominal process like appendicitis, diverticular or gynecologic sepsis. Causes an anal abscess can have many different causes. These include an anal fissure, a tear in the anal canal, that becomes infected, sexually transmitted infections, blocked anal glands, risk factors. Risk factors for anal abscesses include colitis, inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, diabetes, diverticulitis, Pelvic inflammatory disease. Being the receptive partner in anal sex. Use of medications such as prednisone. Pathophysiology. Clinical manifestations. Superficial anal abscesses are often associated with pain, which is usually constant, throbbing, and worse when sitting down. Skin irritation around the anus, including swelling, redness, and tenderness. Discharge of pus. Constipation or pain associated with bowel movements. Deeper anal abscesses may also be associated with fever, chills, malaise. Sometimes, fever is the only symptom of deep anal abscesses. Diagnosis. Usually, a clinical evaluation including a digital rectal exam is sufficient to diagnose an anal abscess. But some patients may require additional tests to screen for Sexually transmitted infections Inflammatory bowel disease Diverticular disease Rectal cancer In rare cases, an examination may be done under anesthesia. The doctor may also ask for proctoscopy, colonoscopy, sigmoidoscopy, barium enema, an ultrasound, a CT scan, or an MRI. Management Patients should be started on antibiotic therapy, as guided by local protocol, and provided with sufficient analgesia. Antibiotics, Spotaxin, Ofloxacin, Ciprofloxacin, Amoxicillin, Norfloxacin, Metronidazole, Gentamicin. Analgesics, Acetaminophen, Diclofenac Sodium, Morphine Sulfate. Antiseptic Lotion, Bepdeen, Soframycin. The main management for anorectal abscesses is with an incision and drainage procedure, which should always be performed under general anesthetic. These can left to heal by secondary intention. Once drained, proctoscopy should be performed to check for the presence of any identifiable fistula nano. If a fistula is identified, the insertion of a seton can be considered by experienced surgeons, However this should only be performed if the tract is clearly identifiable with minimal probing. Nursing Management 
1. Acute pain related to formation of abscess. 2. Hyperthermia related to infectious process. 3. Fluid volume deficit related to dietary restriction and malabsorptions. 4. Anxiety related to outcome of disease and surgery. 5. Sleep pattern disturbance related to pain. Complications. Anal fistula, abnormal connection between the anus and another structure. Infection that spreads to the blood, sepsis. Continuing pain. Problem keeps coming back, recurrence. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.